I think until today, it was definitely the wave of my life. It was a pretty big barrel. I was deep in it. I came out with a spit. The wave was easy, 10 foot. And yeah, I'm just really stoked. It was the best wave of my life until today. Well, to be honest, I wasn't really monitoring anything. I was just pretty lucky to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, we just saw there was a good swell for Nias. The first one that came four days before and we, we went first to Deserts and we flew straight to Nias. I wouldn't miss that day for anything. I'm sure that if I had left, I would have regret for the rest of my life. Yeah, I didn't wake up that early that morning. I woke up 6.30, almost 7 and grabbed my stuff, walked to Hash Surf Camp and yeah, Lucas was already out getting some bombs and it was a long way out because we had to pedal all the way around. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to jump from the keyhole and get smashed at the rocks. The days before the swell was actually really, really crowded. Uh, there were, I don't know, 20 or 30 big wave guys like just surfing and waiting for the swell. So a lot of level in the water was really hard to get waves. But on the big day, everything changed. Uh, there were some massive waves, some huge double ups and yeah, there was a little respect, but for sure you would go if you wanted to. It wasn't just so much about waiting for a turn. It was like you're in the right place, you go. The wave that I made the cover was actually pretty special. It was, was my first wave of the day. I remember exactly, uh, it was at 7.20 a.m. I had just pedaled out and yeah, uh, there were some guys out, they couldn't really get the wave, so I just turned around last minute and yeah, it just doubled up perfect on the inside. And I remember I got there, I got spit, came out. I was like, whoa, it was definitely the wave of my life. It was a pretty big barrel. I was deep in it. I came out with a spit. The wave was easy, 10 foot. But yeah, then I just pedaled out and I saw Chachi was there already. And I wasn't really sure if he was shooting already, but it didn't even look like he was shooting because he had just got there. So. I was like, well, I got a good one, but I think he didn't get it. Uh, later that day, Chachi showed me the photo and he first showed me on the, on the camera. It looked small and I was like, oh, it's a sick shot. And I was like, bro, that's a really sick shot. And, and I didn't really notice because you're watching from a small display. And then he watched me on his laptop after doing a little editing and stuff. And yeah, the photo was, wasn't real. I'm really, really, really stoked. Uh, I, was, I was actually in Ericera uh, training for the Prime and suddenly I got this message in the morning saying congrats for the cover. And I was like, cover of what? And they were like, ah, oh, you do magazines and stuff. And I was like, oh, that, that's all right, that's cool. I start looking up online, I didn't see it anywhere. So I was checking like surf session from France or a car from UK and I was like, fuck, there's nothing here. And then suddenly I get a print screen from a photo with Surfer logo on it saying this is life changing and I, yeah, I just couldn't believe I lost my mind. I started making a big party by myself at home and I think this cover was by far one of the biggest achievements of my life and yeah, I'm really stoked on being on the top like on an international magazine. Uh, especially on this digital era that there's not many magazines and yeah, I'm just really lucky to make a cover on the biggest magazine in the world, Surfer Magazine.